Let's do this. So here's a look at the packaging right here. Um, you see here's what the front looks like. You see it's got the X-Men 97 right there. You can see the Nightcrawler. Here's the figure. There's the rest of them. I still have three more to get. Here's the back of the figure. But let's get him open and out of the packaging so I get my hands on him. Okay, now that we got the figure out of the packaging, let's first take a look at its accessories. Nightcrawler comes with an alternate head with the kind of like a anger expression. And some fisted hands. They kind of yeah, get the camera to focus on them. Right? Yeah. And that, that's it. <clears throat> Just those. Kind of wish it would have came with a sword, but it's okay. So let's get a closer look at the figure. Let's first take a look at the head sculpt. So as you can see, the hair has a nice... Has nice blue highlights in it. Black with some nice blue highlights. Kind of has that animated coloring in there. Almost pulls off as a comic book accurate one too. If I'm going to be honest. Has a nice shadowing on the face. Which this is not too much. This is a perfect amount of shadowing to go on the face of Nightcrawler. The torso is reused from the... I believe is from... I don't remember which build a figure wave, but it's from the build a figure wave with the, with the Nightcrawler figure in that wave. The tail is the same. Um, you see the back, same type of sculpt. Just a regular look for Nightcrawler. The arms are different. You see they are pinless. And instead of this being painted as in the original, this is actually sculpted on there. This design right here. And then they painted the red on there. And the paint on mine... Looks just fine. There is a little bit of a paint stuff right there, but that's no big deal. See the hands just white. See the other arm looks the same way. There's a little bit of another other paint scuff right there, but that's fine. Doesn't bother me too much. Take a look at the legs. This is a this design is sculpted on there with the red just painted on there, which I like better. I've seen the I've seen pictures of the original Nightcrawler from the Build a Figure Wave, and this is actually this whole thing is painted on there, and the paint on some of the figures was not looking very smooth. It was very sloppy, and you can see the tail is the same as usual, just rotates in a circle. Hopefully in the future we get that car with a bendy wire tail. That'd be cool. But <clears throat> the head sculpt is probably my favorite part about the figure. You can see his little, the little cleft chin right there. I love the way the hair is done. It has a nice, it's like going to this one side. The blue on it looks very nice and clean. It's not like super neat so it doesn't look... How, it doesn't look overdone. The texturing is nice. You can see like the way the blue is. It doesn't have to be perfectly neat. It can be a little messy a little bit. Because that's how it's going to look in the show. Now. The one thing I will say about this is. As I stated a little bit ago. He doesn't have his sword. Which the thought was. Okay, maybe he doesn't have his sword in the show. Well, no, he does. And it's in a clip with him and Gambit. And you'll see it here, right here on the screen. He actually has his sword. So I'm assuming maybe it was a cost thing for Hasbro that they didn't include his swords. Who knows? But it would have been nice to have his swords. Or at least one sword. Because the original figure had the sword and it came with three... Three sets of hands. Open hands, fisted hands, and gripping hands. But this is nice. Although a little bit more accessories. Probably some like smoke effect or something for his teleporting. You know, something like that. But no. 
other than that, no, the sculpting of this looks nice. The paint turned out really well in like the few little splotch splotches right here, the paint chipping. But other than that, the figure, my figure turned out pretty good. No complaints here. All right, now let's take a look at uh, some comparisons, shall we? Okay, so here's what he looks like with the rest of the X-Men here. Um, you can see him next to Cyclops. You can see he's taller than Wolverine. He is about taller than Storm, but hair is a little, a little taller. Then, of course, he's shorter than Gambit and Bishop, taller than Rogue, and he is shorter than Cyclops. And, yeah, you can see with the... I didn't want to grab the Magneto because he won't stand, and I got him to stand. I'm afraid if I move him, I won't get him to stand again. But you can kind of see how he looks like with the scales of the other X-Men. So, yeah. Um, let me get one more comparison in here, and then we'll get to the articulation. Actually, scratch that. Let me do two more. So, here we have the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man Target exclusive one. The one with the correct paint on the back of the spider on the back. And you can see how he scales with another figure around his size. You can see Spider-Man is just so slightly shorter because of Nightcrawler's hair. Now, my opinion, I honestly think that Nightcrawler should have the inverted ab crunch like Spider-Man. Because he's a very agile and flexible character. I think he should have the, the inverted ab crunch, but that's just my opinion. I'm, wondering, I'm hoping I'm not the only person who thought that, but... There he is next to another another character that's about similar in size to him. And fun fact, he actually, um, my crawl actually took up the mantle of Spider-Man and I believe, was it the Uncanny Spider-Man? And that's actually where they revealed Nightcrawler's new origins, where Mystique and, I forget who... Mystique and Destiny were Nightcrawler's parents. So, fun fact. And yeah, let's move on to the last comparison now. And here's Nightcrawler next to Mr. Sinister, who I had to zoom out because he's gigantic. So yeah, that's what he looks like with the VHS cell shade Mr. Sinister, the mascot of the channel. All right. All right, before we look at the articulations, let's take a look at these, how the accessories look with Nightcrawler. First, let's change the head, pop that off. As a fist goes flying across the screen, let's put the kind of angrier expression on there. It's a little tight, so we might want to heat up, eat it up, but that's what it looked like with the angrier expression. I actually, kind of, I actually really like this one. Huh. On camera, the blue doesn't look the same. The blue is not that deep on camera. It's more of a subtle. But yeah, here, there's the two head sculpts. Let's take let's take out take out one of his fisted hands. Wrong one. Grab this one. This off here on the side. Let's put in the fisted hand. Right here. And take out his hands. Yeah. All right, now let's move on to articulation. So his head, I believe, is on a... net nah, it's on a dumbbell joint. So it can go all the way around. It can go look down that far. It can look up that far. But that looks kind of weird. It looks like he has a, just a gullet right there. He has just a regular ab crunch. can go forward that far. can go back that far, which that is actually pretty good. Of course, his tail can go all the way around. Shoulders can go all the way around. The shoulder pad doesn't really block it. Arm can go up that, can go up that much. Can go forward that much. Can go back that much. Double jointed pinless elbows. If I again, my elbows are a little stiff, so I probably have to heat it up. I don't know. We have double jointed pinless elbows. Bicep swivel. He has a little bit of a butterfly joint going back. And not too much going forward because of the shoulder pad piece. He has a waist swivel. His, feet can, his legs can go forward that much. They can go out that far. They can go back that far. Not too much. He has a thigh swivel. 
There is no calf swivel. Double jointed pinless knees, as you can see. Ankle pivot. If I can go forward that much, can go go up that much. And yeah, and he can do splits. Most importantly, splits. And so he, he has good articulation again. Kind of wish he had the inverted ab crunch so he can get a little more flexibility right there. Because I mean, that Carl is a more flexible and posable character. But now the articulation of this character works just fine. I like the proportions for the body, they're not too long or anything. It looks just fine. He's not a very big person, so this works. Now that I'm looking at it, the blue on the camera would actually look kind of cool with this figure. But again, this is based off how it look in the show. I've seen people do head swaps where they take this head off and put on the other Nightcrawler head. Well, I don't have that Nightcrawler. This is my only one. Because I looked at the prices for that one because I thought about getting it before I heard that this was coming out. Absurd. Those prices were crazy. Not paying that much. Uh, but, yeah. Let's uh, take a final look at this figure and we can get into my final thoughts of it. So in a full wrap up of this figure, I was so excited when this figure was announced. I was not going to pay the 80 or however much that uh, a Nightcrawler from the Builder figure wave cost. But I'm pleasantly surprised with this figure. The articulation is perfect. He can move all the ways he wanted. Like I said, I do wish he had the inverted ab crunch, but that's besides this point. That's just a little nitpick. Other than a few little paints, tiny little paint scuffs and marks around this, other than the paint on here is wonderful. It's perfect. The sculpting on the arms and the legs of the red part, I much more prefer than the pictures I've seen of the just the painted design that, that uh, the original figure has. The head sculpt matches what Nightcrawler looks like in the show perfect. Like, just, it's totally perfect. The hair is nice. The blue highlights in the hair match how he looks. The shadowing on the face, I feel like that's a good touch. It's not overdone. I feel like that's how, if they're going to do more of a animated, kind of like a slow shading look, I do feel like that is how it should be. Other than, for instance, like the cell shading that has been on the other VHS figures, and the cell shading is heavily shaded. As you can see, the only one I have is Mr. Sinister. But no, you can get him in some really good dynamic poses. This is just kind of something I just came up with at the last second. I do wish he did come with the sword. That is the only thing I do wish they included. Because as we've seen in the clip of the show, he does have a sword. I think he's holding two, actually. You you saw it earlier in the video. Um, the angry expression on the head is not overdone. It's not like he's extremely mad or anything. It is a nice, subtle, angry expression. I like both head sculpts. I might like the neutral look one more. Um, I do wish he, like I said, included more accessories like a sword or some smoke effects or something. But... The people that do all the customizing and all that stuff, that's not me. They could probably grab the sword from the other one. They could probably make some smoke effects from other figures that they have. So far, this wave from this figure and the other figure I have. I do have Goblin Queen. I just have to get a review of her. And then I have Magneto. I have Executioner. I have Jean Grey. Again, I just haven't gotten to open those figures yet. I've had other stuff to do. But all in all... Uh, this figure is, to my surprise, probably so far, one of my favorites in this wave. After it's all said and done, I think Cyclops and Nightcrawler will be my favorite ones from this wave. Hopefully get a wave 3 and hopefully it has Beast and Jubilee. And I, I do like my VHS, Mr. Sinister. He is the mascot of the channel, after all. But one that doesn't have the cell shading would, would be nice. Not that I don't mind the cell shading. It's not terrible. It is done pretty good better than the other ones i've seen but now that that's all out of the way you know where to find me in all my other reviews 
Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you thought about this figure, and if you have it, and what your opinions were. Make sure you share my content out there, get it out there. I want to re at least reach 100 subscribers pretty soon. My goal is to at least be about 500 by the end of this year. Hopefully, if you can share my content and make that happen, that'd be nice. But with that out of the way, people, always rem remember my cash app is down below if you do want to help support the channel. But with all that said and done, stay tuned for the next video. See you guys next time. Crimson out.